On Thursday, March 13, 1997, thousands of people witnessed unidentified flying objects from Henderson, Nevada to Tucson, Arizona. A man in Henderson, Nevada at 7.55 p.m. Mountain Standard Time witnessed a V-shaped object the size of a Boeing 747. The object came from the northwest heading to the southeast. The object had six lights on the front edge and when passing by made a sound like rushing wind. The next sighting took place in Prescott, Arizona at 8.17 p.m. Callers were reporting a solid object blocking out parts of the night sky. Also, a report was made to the National UFO Reporting Center. The unknown reporter said that while taking photos of the stars, he or she saw five yellow and white lights in a V formation. The object came tip first from the northwest heading to the southeast but changed its direction to the south. The first three lights were close together and the other two were farther behind. While heading southeast, one of the back lights moved forward towards the front three lights and then returned to its original position. Prescott is 176 miles southeast from Henderson. A man named John Kaiser was outside with his family when they all witnessed a group of lights in the shape of a triangle from the west or northwest. All of the lights were red except for the one at the tip which was white. For two to three minutes the lights were seen through binoculars, then the lights moved directly overhead at a fairly low altitude. The lights then moved to the right not turning at all. Then the lights disappeared, moving southeast. The object, or objects, made no noise the entire time. Prescott Valley is 10 miles northwest from Prescott. Six people saw a large cluster of lights in the sky while they were driving north on Highway 69 just outside of Dewey. Dewey is seven miles southeast from Prescott Valley. This next sighting, I'm taking an educated guess about where this location is because it wasn't listed. Pinnacle Peak is 58 miles southeast of Dewey. Tim Lay, his wife Bobby, his son Hal, and his grandson Damien first witnessed the lights when they were above Prescott Valley, 65 miles away. They were five lights in the shape of an arc. Then the lights started moving towards them. Over the next 10 minutes, the distance between lights became greater and took the shape of an upside down V. When the lights seemed to be just a few miles away, the lights took a shape of a 60 degree carpenter square. Then the object with the lights in it was 100 to 100 feet above the ground and traveling down their street towards them. The object seemed to hover in place and then pass over Tim and his family. It then went through a V opening in the mountain peaks near Piastua Peak in the direction of the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Tempe is 21 miles south from Pinnacle Peak. At 8.20 p.m., people witnessed a V-shaped object in the sky. At around the same time in Glendale, multiple people also witnessed a V-shaped object pass above them at such a high altitude that the object was obscured by thin clouds. Glendale is 23 miles southwest from Pinnacle Peak. At 8.30 p.m., a man and his wife seen an object above their home. Chandler is 10 miles southeast from Tempe and 26 miles southeast from Glendale. At 
At 8.45 p.m., a man seen lights in the sky. He could see the lights for 10 minutes, then the lights took to the Santa Catalina Mountains. Tucson is 90 miles southeast from Chandler. At 9.15 p.m., an unknown former police officer saw five red or orange lights. Each light looked to be two separate sources of light. Four of the lights were close together and the fifth behind the rest. He went back home and looked at the lights through binoculars until the lights disappeared heading south. Paul Dean is 204 miles northwest from Tucson. At 10 p.m., a large amount of people witnessed lights in the sky that just hung in the air for a period of time. One of the witnesses was famous actor Kurt Russell. He says he was flying a small plane with Oliver Hudson, another famous actor, when they saw lights over the airport. Russell says he reported the lights to air traffic control and they responded that they couldn't see anything on radar. Another witness was a man named Bill Grenier. Bill was hauling cement down a mountain north of Phoenix at the time. He says the lights hung over Phoenix for over two hours. Phoenix is 102 miles south from Paul Dean. A man on his way to Los Angeles reported that he saw a large group of lights moving slowly north. Kingman is 165 miles northwest of Phoenix. The first event which took place between 8.15 p.m. at Prescott and ending at Tucson at 8.45 p.m. Some people believe that this first event was just an optical illusion and were really just airplanes. One of these like-minded people is Mitch Stanley, an amateur astronomer. Mitch said he was with his mother when he saw lights at a high altitude. When looking through a Dobsonian telescope at 43 magnification, he then told his mother the lights were just airplanes. The second event was the lights that hovered over Phoenix at 10 p.m. The U.S. Air Force explained that these mysterious lights were illumination flares dropped by four A-10 warthogs on a training exercise. On February 6, 2007, lights were seen and recorded by the local Fox News station. The lights were similar to the second event. The FAA and the military explained the lights were really flares dropped by F-16s on a training exercise. On April 21, 2008 at 8 p.m., lights were seen over North Phoenix. The lights first were a vertical line, then spread further apart and made a diamond shape. The lights also were in a U-shape at one point. A witness saw three jets heading towards the mysterious lights. The U.S. Air Force said there wasn't any jets or any other Air Force aircraft there at the time. The next day, a local resident told a newspaper that the lights were flares attached to helium balloons that were released by his neighbor. What do you believe? Do you believe that aliens flew by Nevada and Arizona, or do you believe that the lights are nothing more than flares and aircraft? La, la.